Hi, welcome for RTL Online Trainings and Placements. In this session, I'm going to show you there is one error which we have got yesterday in our uh, support project. We used to work for US and UK clients. And while employing, employee is applying for an absence, he got an error. Let me show you where exactly the problem is. So employee has logged into the application and the absence plan has been assigned. Absence type uh, is populating and employee has got manager also. Now what employee is trying to do is, is going to log in and uh, apply for an uh, leave. Employee is going to apply for an absence. So what generally employee will do, employee will log in and just go to the navigator and we have already assigned the role called employee role. He'll just go to time and absences and he'll go for add uh, options and he's going to choose the options type. Let's say TCS US options type employee is going to select. The moment when we choose the options type, we will we'll be getting the options type balance number of days leaves. And now employee is applying for a leave on March 6th to and March 8th. It means uh, three calendar days he is applying and is going to specify the reason and uh, the comments. It also is going to add some documents here, attaching documents over here. Let's say yes, performed this. And employee is submitting for approval. When employee is submitting for approval, he is getting this error message. Now, what system is telling us here, an error has occurred. Contact your options administrator with the following details. There is a uh, module options evaluation method create, create processing data. Exception has occurred during the options processing. So here plan has been assigned for employee. So no problem, he is eligible. Then we have executed the plan. Accrual is also assigned. That's fine. That's the reason we are able to get the balance here. And when the employee logged into the application, he is able to get the options type also. That's fine. So options type has got a combination of reasons and certifications as well as the plans also. The only problem is here, somewhere uh, employee is getting uh, error. So global HR point of view, Employee is perfect. That's why he's able to log in and choose the options entry page. And from options management point of view, plan is perfect, reason, certifications, type, eligibility criteria, everything is fine. So the only other thing what is pending here is payroll module. When we are hiring this employee, we might have assigned the payroll to the employee. So we are supposed to verify what is that payroll definition status from which date it is starting and what is the end date? How many periods has been generated? This we are supposed to check. Right now, what we have to do is for this employee, we have to verify which payroll has been assigned and we have to cross check that payroll definition. We have to cross check that payroll definition. Let me just log out from the current employee and I'm trying to log into the applications here with admin user. Once we go for an admin user here, let's go to FSM environment, setup and maintenance. Sorry, we just wanted to check which payroll has been assigned for this employee. Let's go to person management, search for an employee. Let's go to task list here. We are supposed to verify the payroll relationships. Payroll relationships here. And we can find the payroll name as uh, TCS payroll. This is the name of the payroll has been assigned for this employee. I just wanted to check the definition of this particular uh, payroll. So let's go to FSM environment, search for the task called uh, payroll definitions. And go to this task payroll definitions here. 
and choose legislative data group us and click search button trying to edit when we go for this payroll it's been configured from the date called 1st january 21 that's fine but what we made mistake here is number of years are two we said we want to go for generate the periods payroll periods for two years so if we start with 1st January 2021, two years means the last period which will be generated will be 31st December 2022. Now we are applying for a leave. This employee who is associated with this payroll, that employee is applying for a leave in February 22, 2023. So in February 23, there is no payroll period. It means your payroll is not associated with the employee. Without payroll, we cannot go ahead with the absences, right? So that's the reason it is showing the error message. What we are supposed to do is, let me go for modify this. And I'm just trying to make this is for four years. I would like to go for generate the payroll periods for four years. Let's go for submit. Now we have extended the payroll definition from two years to Four years. Let me just try with this login. Employee is going to log in the applications and is applying for leaves. Now let's go for an employee here. Go to navigator. Employee role is sufficient for applying absences. It's going for time and absences. And if there are any existing absences, he can verify. If there are any previous absences, we can find there. Now he's going to apply for a new absence, add absence, and choose absence type, TCS uh, US absence type. And then we are trying to apply. Let's say he's applying for a leave on March 6th to March 8th, three days. And the reason is sick leave. And comments, uh, please approve the absence and is going to submit. Now it has been submitted successfully. Now we can find it's waiting for approval. Obviously, whoever is the manager, that guy is going to approve it. How to find who is the manager for an employee? Personal information, go to employment information. We'll come to know who is the line manager for the current employee. So the problem was uh, payroll has been designed only for two years, but employee is applying for a leave in third year. By that time, the payroll period is not generated. That's the reason it is showing that error message. You cannot go ahead with this. Now, manager will be receiving the notification. Of course, the remaining things are uh, basic. Manager can log in and cross-check the notifications. He can go ahead with either approve or reject. It may, it may take a couple of minutes time to get the notifications here. Action required, this employee, leave approval. And now manager is going to decide whether he wanted to go for approval or cancel. This time going ahead with approvals. Okay, so this is how we can go for rectify. So we are supposed to verify from the global HR point of view what is the issue and uh, options management point of view what is the issue as well as the payroll point of view. Thank you.